Okay, it's called The Little Mermaid, Ariel's Underwater Adventure, episode from the movie. Let's see. Walt Disney Pictures. Okay, let's see. I gotta turn it over and see what's in the book. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful little mermaid named Ariel. She was the youngest daughter of the sea, of the sea king, Triton. Even though she lived at the bottom of the ocean, Ariel was not interested in her watery world. This little princess was only interested in the world above the ocean, the world but of humans. She's a mermaid, so she looks like a... But she doesn't have a dress like... No, she doesn't have a dress. She has a... She has fins. Um... Like a fish. And what? No, she has a No, she has Oh, in that picture, that's a different princess. She's got red hair, but that's not Ariel. Ariel always she's a mermaid, so she um she swims in the water. So she doesn't wear a lot of clothes because she has to be in the water. She wears like a bathing suit top. So she's wearing a bathing suit top. Okay, so Ariel spent, ready for me to go on? Mm -hmm. Ariel spent most of her time searching through sunken ships. Ooh, that ship sank. That ship is in the bottom of the sea. Um, looking for objects that had once belonged to humans. To Ariel, these rusty old things were wonderful treasures. One afternoon, Ariel was treasure hunting in a graveyard of old sunken ships with her best friend, Flounder the Fish. Uncle Walt! Come on, Flounder! shouted Ariel as she swam into a broken down Uncle ship. A koala bear. Yeah, that's a koala bear. Into a broken down ship. Let's look in here. Are you sure it's safe? asked Flounder. Sure, answered Ariel. Follow me! Uh-huh. Inside, Ariel found a chest full of treasures. That's her belly button. Where's her belly button? Oh, you sure can see it. That's right. Belly button. Belly button. So, inside, she found a chest, chest full of treasures. Where's the chest? That's the chest, and it's full of treasures, gems. They're very, they're worth a lot of money. They're gold. Precious gems. Oh, Flounder, gasped Ariel. Have you ever seen anything this wonderful in your entire life? Among the objects in the ship, Ariel found a fork. Who's got the fork? What's her name? I don't know. Ariel. Ariel. Ariel's got the fork. Ariel's got the fork. And she found a pipe. Which one's the pipe? Yeah, that's a pipe. People smoke pipes, that's right. This is great, the little mermaid cried. She put the objects into a pouch. Where's her pouch? Where's her pouch? This is a pouch. That's a pouch. It's like a bag. So she put the objects into a pouch. I don't have any of these in my collection yet, she said. They're in a sunken ship. Oh, just then Flounder heard a noise. <laughs> what was that? He cried. A shark. I didn't hear anything, said Ariel, who was too busy looking for more treasures to notice That's any shark. strange sound. That's a shark. Yeah. Trembling with fear, Flounder peeked outside the doorway he's, of the ship. He's trying to get him. Uh-oh. Wait, Mom. There with his huge mouth full of sharp teeth uh, open wide was a shark shark screamed flounder as he raced, raced back inside ariel grabbed her bag of treasures she and flounder swam quickly to the upper deck the shark followed snapping his jaws ariel and flounder squeezed through a porthole oh my goodness i hope he doesn't get them the small porthole. Uh oh, the small porthole didn't stop the shark. He crashed, bang, right through the side of the ship after them. Oh my goodness. The mermaid. Which one's the mermaid? 
Ariel. She's a mermaid. Why do they call her a mermaid? Why do they call her a mermaid? Because she's Ariel. Yeah, because she's a she's part fish. She's a mermaid. She doesn't have legs. She has like like fins like a fish. The mermaid and her little companion were swimming hard, but they were barely staying ahead of the shark's terrible jaws. The shark lunged at them, his jaw snapping. Aim, aim. The ship's mast as if it were a matchstick. Wow. What does it mean to mean to lunge at somebody? I don't know. That means to like go very fast towards them. He's when you lunge him. at somebody, look, mommy's gonna lunge towards the book. Boom! I went very fast towards the book. I'm gonna lunge towards you. Boom! Very fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's lunging. That's what lunging is. Mom, okay. He's getting them. Uh oh. Let's see. The two swam as fast as they could towards a huge old anchor. The shark followed only inches behind them. I hope this works, gasped Ariel. Me too, said, cried Flounder. And he's getting them. Yeah, when they reached the anchor, Ariel and Flounder slipped through the ring at the top. The shark tried to follow, but he was too was he too big or too small? Too big. He was too big. His enormous face, look at how big his face is, got stuck in the anchor. What does an anchor do? It stuck. keeps you at the bottom. When you anchor yourself to something, it keeps you down, keeps you weighted down. So he couldn't rise to the top of the ocean. He has to stay on the bottom of the ocean now. Let's get out of here said Ariel. We can head up to the surface to show Scuttle my new treasures. They're getting out of there as fast as they can. Ooh, they can't wait to get away. What do you think is going to happen next? She got to go home now soon. Let's see. On the surface. Mom, she got to go home yeah, now Yeah, I think so. On the surface, Ariel and Flounder visited with their friend Scuttle, the seagull. Who's Scuttle? What's Seagull? What is he? Eagle. Well, he looks like a, he's actually a seagull. He's, he, What's a seagull? It's a little bit different than an eagle, but it's a bird. Ariel what? pulled one of her new treasures out of her patch, out of her pouch, sorry. Do you know what this is? Ariel asked Scuttle, handing him the fork. Ooh, what did she give him? What did she give the seagull? Fork. A fork. Why, certainly, replied cockeyed seagull. After all, I'm the world's greatest expert on humans. This is a dingle hopper. Humans use it to straighten their hair like this. Scuttle ran the old fork through Ariel's hair. Is that what you use a fork for, to straighten people's hair? No. No. What do you use a fork for? Eat. To eat. And what's this? Asked Ariel, this time handing him the pipe. This is most definitely a snark blast. Spoon to eat. Well, is, is that one? It kind of does look like a spoon, but it's a pipe. He says it's a, a snark blast. It's used to make music. Is there such a thing as a snark blast? No. I'm almost done. Let me just read this. Um, Scuttle blew into the pipe, but nothing came out except water. Hmm. Nothing worse than a defective snark flat. Okay, what happened? Soon it was time for Ariel and Flounder to leave. They said goodbye to Scuttle and returned to the undersea kingdom. Ariel went to a sea cave where she hid all her human treasures. The two friends were playing with Ariel's special collection when suddenly the cave got very dark. Ariel looked up through an opening and noticed something on the surface of the water block blocking out There's the, the moon. moonlight. There's the, moon. There's the moon. It's a full moon. I'm going to see what that is, Flounder, said Ariel. On the ocean surface was a big ship. It's a very big boat. How beautiful it is, exclaimed Ariel. We've got to get a closer look. Ooh, what's on there? What's on that ship? Ariel reached up and peered over the side of the ship while Flounder looked on from the water below. What's, Ariel saw a young man. Wh what she said? Well, let's see. 
Ariel saw a young man. His shipmates were singing and dancing. But I I'd never seen a human this close oh, before, she... said Ariel to Scuttle, who was also curious about the humans and had come for a better but look. What she say, like, she says it? he's very handsome. She thinks he's cute. She thinks he looks very nice. Um, the man called, the sailors called this man Prince Eric. I wonder what the doggy's name is. He looks kind of hairy to me, said Hello. Scuttle, looking at Prince Eric's sheepdog, Hello. Max. Uh, um, that sheepdog is called Max. How about Bagu? Bagu? Well, we can name him Bagu if we want. But Ariel didn't hear the seagull. All she could think about was the young man, the Hello. one she would someday join in the world of humans. Hello. Ariel was Hello. falling in love. How about Booby? Booby? That's a silly name. <laughs> Okay, suddenly, without warning, a big storm came up. Rain poured down, lightning flashed, boom, boom, boom. It's a big storm in the wind. <gasps> it tossed the ship around like a toy sailboat. Hey, Mom. What? He doesn't belong in the water. No, he doesn't have fins. He's a human. He's got legs. He can't stay in the water like she does under the water. She watched Prince Eric as he and his crew tried to keep the ship afloat, but the ship tossed what, and turned what, the water. What's she doing? She's scared that the ship isn't going to stay in the. It's going to. It's going to sink. The burning mass collapsed onto a keg of gunpowder, and the explosion threw Prince Eric overboard into the raging waves. The prince! The prince! Shouted Ariel. Prince Eric sank under the water. Uh-oh. Ariel knew that if she didn't act at once, her handsome prince would drown. She's got to save him. Do you think she's going to save him? Ariel dived into the sea. She grabbed Prince Eric and brought him up to the surface. Holding him tightly, she swam to shore and dragged the prince onto the sandy beach. While the prince lay sleeping, Ariel stroked now his hair. Now she saved him! And she sang him a beautiful love song. How Ariel wished she could be with the prince in the human world. Before the prince began to stir, Ariel heard his crew coming. She knew she had to leave before she was seen by the humans. She blew the prince a quick kiss. Are you going to blow me a kiss? Blow a kiss. Blow a kiss. Ah! Hey, <laughs> you're blowing a kiss, aren't you, Brina? So... Blowing the prince a kiss, Ariel turned and dived back into the ocean. Uh -huh. Ariel and Flounder returned to her secret cave so the little mermaid could be with, among her human treasures. Oh, Flounder, said Ariel. Prince Eric's so handsome. I can't hardly, I can hardly wait until I see him again. Flounder just smiled. Ariel combed her hair with the dingle hopper. Is that a dingle hopper? No. What is it? Right. For and wish for the day when she would be with her human prince. She's coming with What is she combing it with? That's a a fork. That's, that's to eat. Yeah, that's silly. All right. So are we gonna say good night? Was that a good book? Good night. Uh -huh. Blow a kiss. You're not gonna do it. You're so silly. <laughs> All right.